This is uh, Dr. V. Naganjanelu, Associate Professor, Department of Mathematics, Vardhaman College of Engineering. Present topic is evaluation of double integrals in course of matrices and calculus. Now, here we have two types. One is evaluation of double integrals in Cartesian form. Another one is evaluation of double integral in polar form. Coming to first one, evaluation of double integrals in Cartesian form we will get when y1, y2 are functions of x and x is constant, then we will take double integral r f of x y dx dy is equal to y is a function of x and x is a limit and here y is there you are going to get with respect to dy first then we will go for with respect to dx. Then when x is a function of y and y is constant, reverse, we will get like this, x is a function of y here and y is a constant, then when x is available here, you are going to do with respect to dx, then dy. Third case is, when x1, x2, y1, y2 are all constants, then in this case, there is no any uh, limitation or restrictions to take x and y values, like you may take x first, then y, or you may take y first, then x problems we will discuss on whiteboard. Next topic is evaluation of double integrals. To evaluate this, how can you identify in the exam? It contains r and thetas. So, to evaluate integral theta 1 to theta 2, r 1 to r 2, f of r theta dr d theta, we first integrate with respect to r between r 1 and uh, between the limits r 1 and r 2, keeping theta is fixed. Then, we will later we will integrate with respect to theta problems we will discuss on whiteboard. Now, it is time for solving problems evaluation of double integral in Cartesian form. I have taken two problems. One is constant limits in two integrations. One is uh, constant limit, another one is here limits of y. In this case, we will see given integral 1 to 2 integral 1 to 3 x y square dx dy that is equal to decide the limit which is x and which is y choice is yours i am taking this is x is 1 2 3 and this is y is 1 to 2 x y square dx dy in between product is there means dot you can separate it then integral y is 1 to 2 y square dy integral x is 1 to 3 x dx you'll get y cube by 3, this is x square by 2. Here the limits are 1 to 3, here the limits are 1 to 2. Now we will get add by 3 minus 1, upper limit minus lower limit. Here 9 by 2 minus 1 by 2, upper limit minus lower limit. Add by 3 minus 1, you will get it as uh, 5 by 3. Add by 3 minus 1, you will get it as 5 by 3. And 9 by 2, this is 1, 8 by 2 is nothing but 4 finally you are going to get 20 by 3. So, there is a note here is you may take this is x and this is y I have taken you may take this is y and this is x both you will get same answer. Coming to second problem deciding the limits are very important coming to the second problem deciding the limits are important. Now, solution integral 0 to 1 given I am writing integral 0 to y e power x by y dx dy. Now, decide the limits that is equal to integral constant do not touch first. Let us move where the variables are available 0 to y you will get x is 0 to y then automatically it is y is 0 then e power x by y dx dy. This is the task what you have to understand more. Why I have taken this is x? Because it contains y. If suppose in future, if it is contains x, you have to take y limits. That is the difference. Now, integral y is 0 to 1 e power x by y dx. It is like integral e power x dx is equal to e power x by a. Using that, e power x by y by this x by y with respect to x derivative, you are going to get 1 by y and the limits are x is 0 to y into dy. 
now we have to substitute upper limit as y and lower limit as 0 we get integral y is 0 to 1 1 by y i can take y y by 1 reverse then i am substituting x y by y because in this x in this x you are going to substitute minus e power 0 you will get it into now e power y by y y y will be cancelled you are going to get e power 1 integral y is 0 to 1 y into e minus 1 into dy we can count it e minus 1 as a constant then take it out you will get e minus 1 into y square by 2 and the limits are 0 to 1 now here upper limit is 1 lower limit is 0 substitute we get e minus 1 upper limit is 1 1 by 2 minus so final answer is e minus 1 by 2 using calculator you can type what is e value also so ho hope you understand between given all limits are constants and given all limits are not constants this is another type of model evaluate double integral x square plus y square dx dy in the positive quadrant for x plus y less than or equal to 1 so what is the given double integral x square plus y square dx dy this you will get it as that is equal to double integral when you see dx dy you need x limit and y limit so i need x limit and y limit for that they have region namely x plus y less than or equal to 1 let's make the diagram x axis y axis they have given x plus y is equal to 1 or less than or equal to 1 given i have taken that then so what will get it let's make it when x is 0 like one table you make x value y value when x is 0 y1 when y is 0 x1 so identify the point 0 comma 1 where it is 0 comma 1 on y axis 1 comma 0 on x axis make sure that join that line and given they have less than or equal to here so this is the region what you require what you require okay if you note it o a b you need the region in between o a b then if you consider the x limit is 0 then from this x plus y is 0, 1 and y is 1 minus x and y is running from 0 to 1 minus x if y is 0 from this you are going to get x is 1 so finally you are going to get x is running from 0 to 1 so i got the x and y limits using this quadrant x plus y less than or equal to 1 then substitute here x is 0 to 1 and y is 0 to 1 minus x there is a question arise that why can't we take x is a function of y like like x is uh, x is running from 0 to 1 minus y that is also accepted in that case then y is running from 0 to 1 that is also accepted now coming to here here y is a function of x so first i have to do with respect to y so dy this you are going to get integral x is 0 to 1 and x square dy gives x square y plus y cube by 3 now y you have to substitute 0 to 1 minus x into dx i did with respect to y because y containing the x limits now substitute upper and lower limit upper limit is this lower limit is this we get x is 0 to 1 x square into 1 minus x plus 1 minus x whole key by 3 into dx lower limit is 0 so 0 and anything 0 0 key is 0 so 0 plus 0 you are going to get 0 not required much then now the next step is i got everything into this one now if you want you can multiply this x is 0 to 1 x square minus x cube plus don't expand this better because uh, next step we will get easy discussions into dx 
Now x square dx will become x key by 3 minus x power 4 by 4 plus 1 minus x whole power 4 by minus 1 because that is x derivative into 3. These are the limits 0 to 1. So finally, upper limit is 1. So 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 plus upper limit is 1. So this total is 0. Upper limit is close. Coming to lower limit 0 by 3 0 1 minus 0 is 1 by minus 1 cubed is minus 1. 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 minus into minus plus 1. So, the LCM is this 12 then 4 minus 3 plus 12 16. So, you are going to get 16 minus is 13 by 12. Okay. Next R. Evaluate integral 0 to pi 1. This is the example for evaluation of double integral in polar coordinates. Now, integral 0 to pi by 2, integral 0 to a r power 4 dr d theta. Then decide the limits. This is theta is 0 to pi by 2, r is 0 to a r power 4 dr d theta. You will get, you can separate this, theta is 0 to pi by 2 and 1 d theta and it is r is 0 to a r power 4 dr. 1 d theta gives theta 0 to pi by 2 and it gives r power 5 by 5 Wait a minute. r power 5 by 5 0 to a. If you substitute upper and lower limit, you will get pi by 2 and here you will get a power 5 by 5. Thank you all.